don't need to uh, pray for money, pray for this. The main thing is give your life to Christ. That's basically my church. What does it mean to give your life to Christ? And did Jesus Christ teach you to give your life to Christ? What do you say? What does it mean to give your life to Christ? Yeah. And did Jesus Christ teach you to give your life to Christ? Now, what do you mean that Jesus life had? Did he teach it? My, my point is, we went through the first of all commandments, yeah? He's saying that your Lord is one. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't say, give your life to me. Yeah. He didn't say, give charity, da 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 ra ra ra. Yeah. So I'm saying these things, what you've said, yeah? Giving charity, there's goodness in that. Yeah. I 100% agree. Women, men, shouldn't, they shouldn't be dancing in the church. It's not a place to be dancing. Yeah. But. Let's go back to the fundamental teachings of Jesus Christ, which is your Lord is one. Worship none but Him. Worship Him with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. That's what the verse says. If you continue reading, what's the next verse? So here, O Israel, your Lord, our God, is one. And please continue. Yeah, Mark 12, 28. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is my first commandment. So, so in, in the church, should they not be teaching you that? that? They are teaching, but you see up now. So what do you think about the part where Jesus died on the cross? And, and, and the, you see the, the cloth in the temple? You heard it reach into two? Okay. What do you what do you think about that? Because that you see, I feel like well, my church, you know, what, what I've been to is, is Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament, you had to go through. Let's say you have to give you have to give offerings, stuff like that before people uh, before you continue. Yeah, before you continue. Can I forgive me for interrupting? Yeah. What you're saying, you're jumping ahead. You're talking about salvation. You're talking about expiations for sins. Yeah. Which again, most likely, I'm going to disagree with you on that. But the first thing we need to build on is the belief in God. Everything else is secondary. Yeah. Belief in God, then comes how do we worship God without blaspheming. If you say God is one of three, or God is three in one, yeah, then you are blaspheming. Previously, just before the camera came on, I asked you, to show me a single verse in the entire Bible where it says the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they're the same, the co equal, they're on the same level, and you'll fail to do that. Know, we don't know. Me personally, I believe, I don't, I know that Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit are not the same. God is God. Okay. He's above You're saying God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Huh? You're saying Jesus Christ is Lord. Just like Lord and Savior because he died on the cross. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me continue. Uh, please, yeah. He died on the cross for our sins. And for us to get through to God, we have to pray for the blood of Jesus, which he shed on top of the cross, to wash off of our sins. So you're saying Jesus Christ is Lord? Huh? You're saying Jesus Christ is Lord? Well, he was sent. He's, he is Lord, but he is not God. God is above all, but God sent Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ isn't God? Huh? Jesus Christ isn't God? He is God, but he's not God at the same time. He is the Son of God. So he is basically God at the same time. He is the Son of God. He was the one sent to come to earth to die for our sins so that we can get through to the Lord. Is Jesus Christ God? Huh? Is he God? He is God. 100%. Final answer. You say? Final answer. Yeah, he is God, but I know. I don't know how you're taking. When I say God, I don't mean. No, no, no. Affirm supreme. it, and then I'll prove to you he's not God. But you need to say to me what you believe, and yeah, then I, I can God. deconstruct I believe, it. I believe he's God. That's what I'm saying. I believe he's God, but I believe. But at the same time, I believe God is higher than him. But I believe he is Lord. Because so he's God, but then God is higher than him. Yeah. So, he is our God himself. You so you say. believe in two gods. I believe in two gods. He's the Son of God. Take a moment. Uh, think about what you're saying. Yeah. 
right now, what you're saying, you're blaspheming. Do you know what blaspheming is? Yeah. How do you define blaspheming? God. Yeah. I know what it means. Going against God, saying something, disrespecting God, um, going against religion, you're blaspheming. You're going against God, basically. You're insulting God. Yeah. You're going against God by saying that you have God and then you have Jesus Christ, who's like a minor God or under him a God. So you're, you're blaspheming because Abraham never taught this. Jesus never taught this. Moses never taught this. These are all men of God and you're coming with something new. Jesus Christ never said what you're saying. If you can show me um, a single verse that backs up what you're saying, categorically, clearly. Absolutely, I haven't, haven't been, you see this kind of conversation. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. I'm, not, I'm not debating with you, bro. No, no, check this, let me finish. Take this conversation isn't for me to prove I'm right or for me to prove you're wrong. It's to invite you to think. Go home, do your research. You don't need to, you can try to prove me wrong, but I'm telling you from your own scripture that what you're saying isn't in your scripture. I'm saying what you believe, it's like, there's no reason for you to believe this. Because why do you believe what you believe? Because, who now, what I believe about you is fine. Like I said in the Bible, he says, Jesus wait, 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 wait. Very, very quickly. So your criteria for your belief is what the Bible says. Yeah. So we're going to reference the Bible yeah, for your yeah, belief. Yeah. Alright, go on, please continue. You know, here where I said, in the Bible, it says Jesus dies on the, uh, on the cross for, uh, for our sins. And on the third day, he rose and went back to heaven. Is that not in the Bible? Yes, sir. Yes, and in the Bible, it also says, God said... By the way, I just want to clarify, is me when, affirming it's in the Bible or not? I don't see how this affirms his God. Oh, I don't, I don't mind having this conversation with you, but oh, I feel yeah. like we've got the point, which is in regards to belief in the oneness of God, and we're going in a different direction. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. Well, let me continue. Even in the Bible, it says when Jesus was getting baptized, he said, a voice from above, when the dove came down, it says, this is my son. In whom I am well pleased. Then I don't, I don't. Really yeah, that's fine. Said, but, yeah, but he says it's been confirmed that he is the son of God. Does that make him God, though? He's, don't make him God. I that's my point. Saying. I get what you're saying. At least you get your point. You're, you've got, like my brother would say, yeah, you've got your Trinity glasses on, yeah. and you're reading the Bible with your Trinity glasses, and you're reading stuff into it. Yeah, this, this isn't him saying he's God. I'll show you another verse. A man came to him, calling him good. He says, why do you call me good? Only God is good. Let me give you the reference. Get your Bible out, bro. Yeah, it's Mark 10, 18. Um, why thou, thou call me good? King James translation, yeah? Version. Go on, get, you can bookmark it. It's good for you to read it, see it with your own eyes. Yeah. There's none good but one that is God. Mark 10, 18. And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. So I've given you three verses where he's separating himself from God and you're still claiming he's God. He could have said um, that he's good. He's God, he's good. God is good. But he said only God is good. He, he's, he's saying he, when someone called him good, he said, who are you calling good? Only God is good. You can read the whole chapter, read the context, whatever. Does that make sense? The way I look at it is, look, it comes down to hellfire. You're talking about expiations of sin. Let's talk about sin now. Yeah. With the belief you have, unverified, going against the teachings of Jesus Christ, you're going hellfire, bro. You're blaspheming against Jesus Christ. You're claiming something that Jesus Christ didn't teach. You're calling Jesus Christ God, where he didn't call himself God. You're calling, you're saying Trinity. 
he didn't teach Trinity. How do you feel about what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand your point. I understand your point. But at the same time, in the same way I see it as I get what you're saying that he's not God, but after he died on the cross and he Do you agree God, before before we go into the blood sacrifice? Yeah. Do you you have to affirm Jesus Christ is not God? And if I if I, I haven't convinced you, then let's continue going around this circle. Continue having this conversation because no, I don't I, mind I, it. No, I don't I, mind. I, 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 feel you, I, I feel you. I feel you. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I, I I know what you're saying, but at the same time, it's not knowing. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Huh? Do you agree with what I'm saying? That well, he's not God. Yeah. yeah. I know he's not God, but he's the Son of God. Okay. So we've moved away from he's a minor God. He's the under God. He's not it's, God. Categorically, that, 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 he's not that, God. That, that's the basically the same thing. He is not. He is God. Is above all. God is God. He is the ruler of everything. He's so you've rejected everything. Trinity now. Huh? I never. Because Trinity, never Trinity. Trinity, nah, Trinity I get that. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me just explain. Trinity means Jesus Christ is equally God. The Holy Spirit is equally God. Yeah. There's no hierarchy. There's, There's no hierarchy. I heard that. God so the you're Father, they say God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They, they are not free, but they are only one. They, only one. they say free in one. I, I, it's mostly the Catholic. So before we before we move on, you have to affirm Jesus Christ isn't God, and you've rejected Trinity. Well, let me convince you I of why. I really believe the Trinity because my church don't really say Jesus, God the Father, God the Son, God. My church is basically about give your life, pray for forgiveness. We, 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 we'll get there. I respect what you're saying. Should I let you finish, by the way? Yeah. I don't Because yeah, the thing is, okay, so Jesus Christ isn't God. Let me, let me, just, let me just bang that point home. Yeah. Is God all knowing? All knowing? Yes. Yeah. All right. Was Jesus all knowing? All knowing. I can show you many verses in the Bible where Jesus Christ didn't know. Yeah, he didn't know because he came to earth. So he's not God. He came to earth in human, as a human. He came Who came flesh. to earth? Who came to Jesus. earth? Jesus. All prophets come as humans. Huh? All prophets of God come so, for, as okay, humans. So you think Jesus is just a prophet? Not just a prophet. A prophet is high rank. He's like the prophet. Doesn't make sense. These are all men chosen by God to portray the message. So you got... Jesus, Moses, Abraham, the Prophet Muhammad, all messengers well, of why, God, peace why, be upon all of them. That, why is it that Jesus as one was different? The way he was born was different. He, apparently, um, Joseph and Mary never had anything. He just, the Holy Spirit said. As a, no, 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 no. The Holy Spirit didn't say. God said. Yeah. Sent as a Muslim. An angel, to come deliver the message to Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. As Muslims, we affirm yeah, this, yeah. right? So now, um, we're talking about Jesus Christ, miraculous birth. As Muslims, we affirm Jesus Christ had a miraculous birth. Virgin birth. Mary was a virgin. Yeah, she gave peace be upon her. She gave birth to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. The Quran actually responds to your argument. Yeah, and the Quran says that look. If Jesus Christ, you're going to raise Jesus Christ to God because he didn't have a father. Adam didn't have a mother or a father. Eve, you call her Eve. We call her Hawa, alayhi salam. Yeah? She didn't have a mother or a father. She came from the rib of Adam, from, from a man basically. Yeah. As a Muslim, look, this is what we believe. So now, there I'm are not, elements. I'm not saying, I get your point, but I'm not saying because he didn't have a father. That's why, guys, the reason is because he had a mysterious birth. Eve, now, I don't know. I don't know how you guys believe, but Eve was the first woman, was she not? And Adam was the first woman. Yes. Adam didn't have a father. Eve, or Eve didn't have a father. I agree. So yeah, they're both. But with Jesus Christ, and it says on the third day as well, he rose to heaven. We, 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 we will get there. We'll get there. He died. He died for us. He didn't, he didn't rise from heaven and on the third he day. To, he, rose to he, ro he rose to heaven, not rise from heaven. He rose and went back to heaven. Like, but didn't he heaven. rise? Huh? Didn't, was, well, he's... Because he was, he was in the cave. He was in the cave and where the Bible says where the angel, where it was rolled, the stone was rolled and he went back yeah, yeah. to heaven. Yeah, all that part. But what I'm saying is, 
And when he rose, what did he come and say? Huh? To the first eyewitness, what did he say? He's showing her that look his flesh. Yeah, showing, yeah, showing, he was showing the wind as well. Yeah. The wind as well. So what does that floor. what does that show? He's God or he shows he's a man? Yeah. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So now but at the same time he came because of our sins. He was sent because of our sins. He, he do, you, do you know what that means by the way? That what? He came for our sins. He came. Yeah. yeah so you believe in original sin. Original sin. So Adam ate the apple and all of the children of Adam are born into sin. Well, I, I believe that any womb, any anybody born from a woman is automatically a sinner. I believe that. I believe that. There's, when Jesus was born from uh, a woman. He was born from a woman. So was yes. he a sinner? Well, he, he was born a sinner, but he had to give his life to Christ or whatever. Jesus is a whole different case. I'm talking about us. So Jesus gave his life to himself. The, the, way, no, no, the, way, Jesus, the way Jesus was born was mysterious anyways mysterious or miraculous was, i agree it's miraculous yes miraculous and mysterious okay, i'm saying that's fine mysterious way, nothing like that happens like no one is but what does that what does that mean what does that mean but why would why would why would an angel come to give a message that you will bear this so so person if he was just a regular prophet just any random prophet why this is this so? is this is the power of Allah, power of God. Yeah. So God is showing His um, ability to create without um, a man or a woman. God is not dependent like human beings. We we have like rules we have to abide by. Allah says to something, be and it is. Well, you see, you see your argument. You see your argument. Yeah. I'm actually gonna go take my time to reach his well. Yeah, yeah, please. You know why? Uh, yeah. With time. Time has gone past, time has gone past. A lot of things have been changed in the Bible, a lot of things have been... If, if you go do a research as well, back in the days, the word letter J was just made, I think 2000, was just discovered 2000 years ago. So there was nothing like Jesus back in the days. I forgot the name he was called. Go Isa, 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 Yeah, something like that. He wasn't Jesus. He wasn't called Jesus or nothing like that. So the Bible... Everything has actually been changed. No one actually, I would say no one truly knows the truth, but a lot of things are out there that we probably don't know. Let me introduce you to the Quran, the final revelation from God, unchanged, perfectly preserved. How do you feel about that statement? How do you know it was unchanged? Thank you! You're the first person to ask me that, my bro, and I like that. Yeah, normally I have to tell them. Yeah, thank you. Now, what is your criteria to be confident something has been perfectly preserved? I'll, the Quran will meet your criteria. As long as it's logical and rational. Uh, well, like, I, I don't know, innit? Okay, okay, I'll tell you. I can't really, I can't really say because I was not there from the start. Preserved, yeah. So, basically, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he spoke Arabic. The Quran we have now is in Arabic. Yeah. We preserve the Arabic language by preserving the Quran. Yeah. Now, that's nice me saying that, where's my evidence? We have a Qur'an from the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him, carbon dated to his time in a university in Birmingham. Yeah. This is the month of Ramadan. We have um, millions upon millions of Muslims, approximately 200 million Muslims who have memorized the Qur'an word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot. So if a single word or a letter has been changed, we've got people, half of the Qur'an, who can say, no, that's incorrect. You can throw all the books, destroy the internet, yeah? Get rid of all the books in the world, from all the libraries. The only book that will survive is the Qur'an, because it's in the hearts of men, women and children who have memorized it word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot, in the language it was, preserved, it was revealed in. Okay? Now, there's no contradictions in it. In the Quran, Allah says, um, Allah will put, this book was revealed from him and he will protect it. Allah will protect this book. And Allah is true to his word. Yeah? So the book has been preserved. The Bible doesn't make that claim. It was preserved perfectly. There's no contradictions in it. It makes prophecies, it comes true. It talks about topics and it says expert on those topics. It talks about science, 
Yes, sir, right. Same, with, Revelation. Same with Revelation in the Bible. In the a few moments ago, you said that things have been changed, huh? even the letter J. No, 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 no. I get what you're saying, but I said, but I'm saying that when it comes to prediction, same with the Bible, there, there are actually some things that are in there that is happening now. It says, Revelation says, in the end times, Hold on. nations I'll let you finish, will on. rise against nations. Oh. There shall be false, what's it called, a lot of false, part, a lot of false doctrine. You get what I'm saying? That's same thing with what you're saying. Where Even are... if the Bible has prophecies, for the sake of argument, I'm going to concede. This got prophecies is right, but has it got stuff wrong? Has it got stuff wrong? I don't know. Yeah. But I feel like with time. I don't want to take the conversation in a direction and me showing you contradictions in the Bible where it's making numerical errors and stuff like that. Yeah, because you already admitted yourself. Because my point is, just it can't be from God if it's got some things right and some things wrong. I'm affirming the Quran is the word from God because it gets it all right with no mistakes. Yeah. So, would you be interested in reading the Quran? I'm gonna yeah. give it to you free of charge. To be honest, I don't know. I don't. Actually, I don't mind. I actually don't mind. Yeah. I, I don't mind. To be honest. Okay. My, my, I don't know. If there's, I think there's one at home, but I don't mind taking one as well. To be yeah. It's in English, though. It's in English. No problem. I don't mind. I actually give it a look. So I'm going to give that to you. Now, there's a few things you want to talk to me about. Um, the blood of Christ, blood sacrifice. I'm happy to address that now. Do you have time? Huh? Do you have time? But I've actually spent a lot of time here. You have, you have. That's why. Because my point is, look, I'm here every Saturdays. I'm going to give you uh, this free copy of the Quran. Yeah? Um, it's got a few leaflets in there. If you've got any questions, um, we'll, we'll discuss it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, any questions? I will actually go through. Read, read through it if you got any questions. Any questions? You see me here next Saturday. Like yeah, next Saturday. Plus, I'm gonna give you my number. The brother's got my number, anyways. You can take it from him. But look, I'm accessible. 